About to hit the trail again. Looks fun, guys. Looks fun. And the sun is rising. That's how I like it. Sunny and hot. Right, first minute, ready, first obstacle. Let's see how we can do it. There's not much to do. Remove the panniers. And hike a bike. And there. And then we should be able to do this. Man, this trail is hard work. And maybe here it will get better. Hopefully. Okay. That seems like a good place to go to my bike. That's where someone lived. I would rather build a shack with some wood. Must have been really humid down there. I can't continue following the trail because there's an entry barrier of about 36 liras. 36 lira. 36 liras is about. 36 liras is about $6. I don't like when there is a, there is a monetary uh, barrier to access nature and history but I understand that there is people that needs to maintain the trade maintain the, the historical places the houses the ancient houses I understand all of that but it's still it's still not right in a way because uh, there are people that uh, maybe can't afford it. Maybe I can afford it, I don't want to because I have a problem with my wheel. I, I broke again uh, some, uh, some bearings and I, need to, and I need to replace them. So anyway, for me it's upsetting when I see these things. That's all, I understand. Guys, don't complain. I understand. I know why there is a you need to pay, but I don't like it. Let's get to Cappadocia. I couldn't find the waterfalls. Let's get to Cappadocia. Find a nice wild camp spot and get some pictures with the balloons in the morning and that's it from here I will stick to the main road and get to Nef Nefse here because 
I broke some bearings in my back wheel and uh, I think that's the safest thing to do before everything falls apart on a trail it shouldn't be that far and uh, it should be like halfway through here and uh, Cappadocia or a bit more maybe three quarters of the way see you in the city I know I said no dirt because of the bearings blah 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 but look at this I looked at the map and I found this trail. Okay, it's a bit sandy. I found this trail that should take me halfway through here and the city. So it should be about 30, 35 kilometers on this dirt road. And it will go, it will go through the hills and then go down on the other side and then the last little bit paved road let's have some fun actually double check in uh, my map at this uh, crossroad i realized that this trail it's not on my map But I mean, I have to go in that direction. How it goes up this hill and see where this trail goes and make a decision. If worse comes to worse, I'll come back. There are lots of trails in Turkey that are not on the maps. At least my maps. I usually two, uh, use two maps, but I think they, they use exactly the same database of information. Major disaster.
whole day I've been going around trying to find a bike mechanic in, uh, that can replace my bearings. But apparently in uh, this city, and it's, it's a fairly big city, it's basically the capital of Cappadocia, it's over 100,000 people, but there's no proper bike shop uh, that can replace my bearings. And uh, now it's, uh, the problem is, uh, it's starting to become uh, a bit too much. Uh, there's a bike shop at 70 kilometers from here that uh, I called and they confirmed they have the bearings. I hope I can make 70 kilometers, but it's already almost sunset. Uh, within 20 minutes is, there will be the sunset, so I have to find a place where I can spend the night. And there is a guy in Couchsurfing that told me I can crash at his place. And then tomorrow I can get there. And so I will basically lose one day to get there and one day to come back. So it's two days gone of my life. Um, but uh, yeah, what can you do? To be honest, I, I would have thought it was easier to find just some bearings in, in Turkey. Uh, but it is what it is and uh, Sundays are very frustrating for some reason and uh, I haven't eaten anything the whole day I had some cookies this morning and then I was really busy trying to get here and then trying to find a sh uh, bike shop and now I'm waiting for my host uh, to send me his house location and hopefully I can have some food there I, have, I had some uh, some soft drinks and some juice that, that was it uh, but it's good I put on some weight uh, between Cairo and Istanbul I have to I have to lose some weight so hopefully I can sort it out tomorrow let's see the Sun is setting in uh, Cappadocia and obviously it turns out my horse doesn't live in the city but it lives 20 kilometers away. It's on the way to the town where I can repair my, my bike tomorrow, so I guess it's okay. And hopefully it's mostly downhill. Oh, there is a bit of, uh, yeah, there is a little hill, but for the most part it's downhill. There was a fox here, just now, but more importantly, I hope my horse give me the right location, otherwise not too bad and camp around here. My host house should be one kilometer that direction. I'm not sure I will send the right location, but look at this, and loads of dirt roads. If worse come to worse, I'm gonna camp here. I have no water. Let's see if today I'm uh, luckier. Last night I slept in this uh, vineyard. As you can see this morning I camped down there where there was the balloon. And uh, this was my host, uh, it's my host farm. He hosted me here, but there is no electricity and uh, no water. So it was basically just wild camping. I could have camped somewhere else, but uh, it was okay. It was a safe place to stay and I uh, had a chat uh, with my host and uh, it's all good. Now I want to check out uh, a bike shop that there is in the village next to it, over 
over that uh, hill. If not, I will have to cycle about 70 kilometers to find a, a proper bike store where they confirm they have the bearings for my hub. This is a boring highway, but I'm only 20 kilometers from the city and the bike shop. And hopefully I can find a, a host for the night there. I wouldn't mind to take a shower and charge all my batteries. I'm at the bike store. It's a proper bike store, so they should be able to fix it. Now we see, look, they're opening the, the hub. So guys, you can see that the balls are squared. This they are wore off. Bed. It's not rounded anymore. Those are bedding from Egypt. Look at this. <coughs> that was the problem. That's uh, bad quality bearings because I only did like less than 2,000 kilometers on this one. We're here at the bike shop. It's the best bike shop in the area. This is my warm shower host. I'm staying at his place. This is the owner of the shop. But most importantly, this is the bike. And now the wheel doesn't move sideways. What they changed, they replaced the bearings and the axe of the hub. So there is new cones and uh, it shouldn't break the bearings anymore because uh, the, the other bearings, they only lasted less than uh, 2,000 kilometers. So finger crossed. Everything is gonna be smooth, but at some point I will need to replace these uh, hubs. They are uh, Shimano Dior hub. I don't know if you can read there. Uh, they are not suitable for uh, the amount of stress that I put them through. Hello, buddy. You happy about the bike? So, I'm happy and uh, I'll hang around another day and then uh, keep going.